On May 27th of 2009, after a 13-year-long process, the USS Hoyt Vandenberg ended its long historical career above the water and started its new life underwater as the Florida Keys' largest artificial reef. The project was designed to create habitat and increase marine life, uh, to reduce the amount of pressure on the natural coral reefs, and to find a beneficial way to increase the economy of the Florida Keys. The driver that helped us garner the eight and a half million dollars it's taken to sink this thing is tourism, it's heads and beds. It's the only product we make here really in the Florida Keys. Uh, we make happy vacations. Diving and fishing is a huge part of the Florida Keys economy. The clear water, the coral reef, and the abundant marine life uh, attract people from all over the world, thereby creating jobs and opportunities for the residents and the businesses of the Florida Keys. The question is, how do you increase that flow without negatively impacting the already stressed natural resource? We worked with the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary and we designed this project to provide an attractive alternative diving and fishing site that would take people off of the natural reef and put them on the artificial structure, thereby giving the, giving the reef a little chance to breathe and recover from some of the pressure it's under. Because the Vandenberg and ships like it are sunk in relatively barren bottom, the ship itself becomes an oasis in a desert. Uh, it attracts marine life and fish, which in turn uh, attracts divers and fishermen away from the natural coral reef and onto the new artificial structure. So the Vandenberg ultimately creates habitat and increases marine life. Uh, it increases the flow economy to the Keys, and it does all that while still reducing the impact to the natural resource.